Good morning. It is Friday morning. It is about 8.30 and I have already been up for two and a half hours. Woo! Um, so I thought I'd bring you a little haul. Did a little bit of shopping yesterday and picked up a couple of some hard goods, a few clothes, not a whole lot. Didn't find a whole lot and that's just the way it is. And um, I went shopping with Andy. We didn't have a huge window of time either. We only had a couple of hours. So we hit two Goodwills. Uh, the first one I didn't really buy. I think I bought one thing for resale and I don't even know. Do I have it in here with me? I'm not sure. Yes, I do. I have actually, I had two things for resale. The first Goodwill and then um, the second Goodwill I sold more. Um, more stuff, or I sold. I did not sell anything at Goodwill. Total lie. Um, so, uh, if you're new to my channel, my name is Sarah. I am your socially awkward seller. However, I'm thinking of changing my name to Pale and Pasty because that's the way I'm looking lately. Could we get some sun? I'm just saying. Um, you know, it's cloudy Midwest and it is what it is. Um, it is... Let's see, what's the temperature? Oh, freaking cold in Columbus, Ohio. So, um, let me just jump in with a few hard goods. Um, I only got a few things, and some of these actually are grandkid related. You know I'm a sucker, I can't, I can't stop myself. Um, so, been wanting to work with Phoenix on puzzles, and he hasn't had a really good puzzle for his age, and this one is super cute. Um, and uh, I picked this up for 99 cents for him. I love those wooden puzzles. They're, you know, they're just so much more durable than the little cardboard cutout ones. Um, so I sent my grandson Brody, who I affectionately call Brodigliani, um, a Mighty Beans like play set for his birthday. And um, I found Mighty Beans at Goodwill yesterday for two bucks. So I will actually be sending um, this to him. I don't know if I'm going to send him the case though because it's got this writing all over the back and it's not full and it was just shipping, you know. So um, that's for him. I picked this up and I haven't decided if this is um, a local sale, if it's a, a faith, an eBay sale, or if it's a grandkids Nana fun thing. But it is a bubble blower and it makes gigantic bubbles. I paid three bucks for that. My other hard good is this. I paid $12 for this. This is actually new in box. The box has some wear. Um, again, $12. This is one of those uh, comb binding machines that you can make, you know, um, proposal books with the, um, with the that little edge uh, yeah you know what i'm saying it's office equipment anyway you can bind together reports or whatever with that um that looks like it will sell for about 65 dollars on amazon um i i mean i probably will double or triple my money on that after fees and shipping but um double or triple i'll do that i'll do that i picked this up at the first goodwill I don't pick this brand up very often, and that's Lane Bryant. They do have some stylish clothes, uh, but I just don't think their resale is all that much, especially for just a used top. But this was cute. Um, had this cute little keyhole detail on the back. Nice color. It's kind of a coral. And uh, it was half off, so I only paid $2 and change for that. Um, this is a, a loft dress that I picked up. I'm kind of tapering my, my loft purchases because um, I just have a lot of it and it's not selling. And um, But this was a really cute dress um, from loft. It's, it's a little cotton. I don't know if it's a, a sheath dress maybe. Sure, let's go with that. It's not a shift. I think it's a sheath. So um, I sold a dress and it was actually a loft. Loft. I think it was a loft dress last week and um, the the buyer asked a lot of questions about it which is fine um, and uh, you know confirming that it's black not blue and, uh, um, so there was no belt in the pictures there was no belt 
um, that was listed in the description. Uh, I think it, it probably did have the little uh, string type belt loops on it. Um, and I, I listed the dress as no flaws because the dress had no flaws. Um, but the, the buyer came back to me last night and said, you know, um, I can't wear this dress without the belt. Do you have the belt? Can you send me the belt? Um, and I honestly just advised them that I, there was no belt mentioned. There was no belt in the pictures. And, um, and normally I try to like mention that, you know, has belt, but it's missing. Um, and advised her to open a, a posh return. Um, and I, I did that kind of because I'm curious too what Poshmark does in that situation. Since there was a little bit of amb ambiguity, I suppose, if I look at it from a buyer's perspective. Um, so I'm just interested to see what will happen. I, she hasn't opened anything that I'm aware of yet. We'll see. Got this at the second, let's see, where's the rest of it? At the second Goodwill. And this is a nice little spring pants, not a pantsuit. Well, I guess it is a two-piece. Um, it's woman's. Uh, it's very lightweight, nice fabric. And it is Ann Taylor. Don't buy a lot of just straight out Ann Taylor. Um, but there's the dress pants. This is size four. And then here's the jacket. And it's got this nice little peplum back. And I paid $5.99 for it. So pretty sure I'll do fine with that. Picked up a couple pairs of jeans. Not that much. Not so much. Let's see, what are these? Huh. Citizens of Humanity. Just uh, kind of a irregular old jean. Jeans at this... Um, I think they were $4.99 or $5.99 at this Goodwill. So it's trying to be a little more selective. Um, here's a pair of Paige dark wash jeans. You know, because uh, clothing is competitive. These are a flare. Flare leg, I believe. Uh, or a boot cut. I think they're a flare. But, um, you know, try to be competitive with clothing. Um, I'm not the best. I'm at that age where things that look attractive to me um, for my age group are not the things that are trending necessarily on um, Poshmark. So I have that's a really fine line to say, oh, that's cute. I like it. And then I have to remind myself that's for a 50 year old woman. And while I shop on Poshmark, so I know 50 year old women do shop on Poshmark, um, that may not be the base. So I'm trying to keep those styles a little bit younger. But let me know what you think about that. Do you have um, better success or, or do you find success in buying those clothing uh, items that are for a little bit older of, um, you know, like the career woman or whatever? Um, or, you know, do you need to keep your styles in, in their 20s, 30s, even early 40s? interesting to know this is a lucky brand I don't pick up every lucky brand top that I see but this is really really cute and I wonder how far I am away oh it's a medium a little too far um, but really cute top and it'll be great for the warm weather if we ever get some boy that'd be nice wouldn't it um, I need to get this up and listed I don't buy a lot of Disney um, but this is really cute, In this is in really good condition. This is a St. Patrick's Day Mickey, like, raglan top. Um, look, he's got, he's got glittery shoes. Let's see. I don't have a ton today. I do have a few things. Let's see what else we've got. Um, this is a Prana t-shirt, and I paid $3.29 for that. I'm not going to make a fortune on it, but it'll, it will sell, and it's really cute, and I like to sell Prana. What do we got here? Um, this is just a beach cover-up. It's pretty inexpensive. It's nobody that I'm, a, that you know, that I recognize, but, um, 
it's a nice pattern. It's a nice size. I think this was a larger size, or maybe it's one size. It's large. So we'll do okay with that. And that season is coming up. They keep telling me. Um, this is a postmark, which is an anthro brand, which is really cute. This kind of um, mixed pattern long sleeve shirt with the, it's got tab sleeves. Uh, let's see, who's this? This is Maeve. Little green paisley floral top in a extra small, I think. It's, a, it's hell to get old, ain't it? It's small. This one, I always get tricked by this brand because I think the tag always looks like like an anthro brand, but it's not. It's Francesca's. Um, it's that bird cage, La Cage à Faux, if you will. Um, <clears throat> and this is a little sheer uh, long sleeve top with that ivory or white trim around. It'll be okay. It'll be fine, don't worry. But um, yeah, I always think, oh, there's that birdcage again. I better buy that, and it's always Francesca's. But, uh, oh well. This is Stranger, Th Stranger Things um, raglan top that says Bob is the new Barb. This might be a little uh, late in that pop culture to you know to sell, but I couldn't help myself. Um, and I actually need to watch the second season. I haven't watched it yet. Let's see. Oh, bought myself an appliance. Uh, this is a Cuisinart immersion blender. I needed one of these, and they just put it out on the shelf. Got that for five bucks. Uh, and lastly, but certainly not leastly, uh, this one is kind of outside my comfort zone, but I could not help myself. Um, it is this kind of kimono thing that's got like this um, southwestern sort of flavor to it. But wait, there's more. Look at the fringe. Like the crochet fringe. It's just, it's just too much. Um, there should not be allowed to be this much fun in one garment. Um, I don't know how I got something tangled in the, that sounds about right. Something tangled in the fringe. Uh, but anyway, I just thought this was really cute and it looks like the fringe is kind of jacked because of whatever this is that's tangled in it, which I did not notice. Of course I didn't notice it. Um, but I think I'll be able to straighten it out to a degree. Um, yeah, so that is my little haul from yesterday. I have done my best this past week to get off my ass and list and share my closet and take pictures and, um, you know, do all of the things that you really need to do to, I don't know, make money. Um, I'm working on building my listings back up. Um, and I'm doing that with the thought in mind that I don't have uh, unlimited space, which is the final frontier. Um, the uh, I don't have unlimited space to do it. So I'm trying to remind myself to buy smaller things, um, unless I find a coffee pot or something I want. But anyway, enough rambling. Uh, that's my little haul. I spent about $75. I should do fine with this little bit. Um, and I hope to get this all listed. I think I can probably get this all listed this weekend. And then we'll start over again next week. Um, thank you all for watching. I always appreciate you all being here and supporting me and watching these videos watching me ramble and go off on tangents and finding things that are shiny. 
Um, so thank you for being here. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and we'll see you next time.